Welcome to a new era of the channel, Nike Jordan, etc. Enjoy. What is up, YouTube? Nike Jordan, etc. here with a brand new video. Uh, I've been in YouTube jail for the last six weeks, and I got more to explain on that. But I figured I'd do a video on how I make my money. That's probably the number one question people kick me and ask me on Instagram and even on here. They all expect an answer like, oh, I get it from my parents, I'm a spoiled brat. Uh, but no, you're not going to get that answer from me. Uh, parents have probably only bought me about three, five pair of shoes, and those are all on birthday or Christmas. Uh, so I bought myself this, and uh, I got more to show you. I'm going to do an epic rollout here in a second. So, so just real quick here before I get further into the video. Um, here are my two. Um, that's my trimmer. It's a steel FS48. No FS48. 38 sorry curve shaft and bought that with my own money of course it's actually pretty nice and over here is my blower alright there's a serious cat fight going on over there um, alright but this is my blower a BP42 by Ryobi it's a backpack blower. Use it a few times. Very, very nice and powerful. Uh, but very nice. Got it at the uh, Home Depot for two bills. So, yeah, pretty nice. And uh, uh, don't regret buying one of these. I know it's a little bit more expensive than a handheld blower, but um, it's worth it um, because, you know. It, it's two bills. I mean, you can buy one for six hundred dollars if you want to, but this is a really great deal. Uh, so so I on. apologize firsthand. There is a storm blowing in right now, so it's going to get a little windy. Uh, but the last two minutes, it's really been picking up the wind. Uh, so this is a very nice lawnmower. Uh, bought it probably two months ago, maybe two and a half months. Uh, is a great deal, thousand dollars, twelve hundred dollar mower. Uh, bought it at Lowe's. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, you can see down there. There's a 42 inch uh, mowing deck. It's a five height adjustability on there. Sorry, this tripod keeps falling over, but uh, yeah, you can see it's already been used. But I wash it every couple of weeks. Just got done mowing today. Uh, there will be some samples of what I did in my backyard after this video but it has front and rear rear wheels of course and uh, it has a Briggs and Stratton engine Let me show you that bad boy uh, 15 and a half horsepower power built 500 cc's and gas tank right there which is about half Three, it's a little, pretty empty, um, but it's a uh, pre built pony. If I didn't say that already, it's the lowest end riding lawnmower that make. Probably one of the cheapest high quality ones you can get. Uh, under here, you got the battery and of course the seat. Uh, I'll probably do mowing tutorials later in the week. But there's the shifter right there and the gear shifters right there and the throttle up there and of course the steering wheel uh, but I'm about to give you an exclusive view of the mowing deck mainly because I can see it too because I have it under there I don't know if it needs to clean alright that is under the mower not sure if it's in focus can't see the screen yeah but that's what it looks like Probably a bunch of grass. So here's the push mower I used for. Wow, that was crazy. The stick just hit the thing. Really picking up, but there's a self propelled drive mower. You can adjust it from there, uh, but it's 21 inches, and it really does the job very nicely. I miss. Don't have a bag for it, and I have lost the uh, side discharge. So I'm just using a. I'm molting it basically, but I'm not doing full lawns with this. It's just I do borders and around trees pretty much, and then grab everything else with a weed eater. Uh, 
but this has been very good. It's about three years old. They don't make them like this anymore. You'll never find a mower this good made by any company. They get worse and worse quality issues as time goes on. Y'all remember that? I advise buying used if you're a beginner. My parents did buy this since this was really... This has been around since before I've even mowed my own lawn, so it's probably about four years old. I've been using it only a couple of years, but very nice mower, does the job, and it's very fuel efficient, and it's in my dump cart. And then my steel weed eater just broke today, so a warranty is covering that, and this one sucks. The line like shredded like crazy, so yeah, I'm kind of stuck for the next two days, uh, but good thing I'm done going for now. And then my leaf blower is a Pulliam Pro, uh, made by the same company as John Deere, I believe. It also has sucking capabilities, but ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, but very reliable. You don't have to get the expensive brand in a leaf blower. I think that's the least thing you could consider a leaf blower as far as spending money. I think I'm going to get a backup though, uh, just in case. Good thing I had a backup in that because I had to finish one thing. It was like all hell. It took like a half an hour to weed eat with that thing. But yeah, this is pretty nice. I got the longer attachment. I uh, don't really need a backpack blower. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, and yeah, I've been in YouTube jail the last six weeks, so uh, welcome back to myself, and that is my lawn equipment, and I make all my money. I just got a brand new pickup, I'll show you. Alright, so make sure to follow me on Instagram, I know this has been a long video, and here are the samples of the front and backyard. Y'all can smell that freshly mowed grass. I think you can get more of a sense of a pattern from here. You can see the lines going that way. Uh, they're going like that way, then also that way. I switch every mill between directions, and sometimes I even do it that way or that. And then here's a look at the front yard. Got a little bit of leaf bagging I should do in there. That's really no big of a deal. Uh, those blew over from the neighbor's yard. I actually got started on some edging. But my weed eater broke today, so yeah, it's in the shop, like I said before.